But yeah, no, that's weird. Trying to get mods proper is always a pain in the butt. Well, like I said, I was being I thought I was being smart the other day when you sent me that one to put at least the old one. <laughs> just to avoid conflict. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, look what that caused, hey? Not yeah, so much. Conflict. Conflict is what we do. How about you, Ham? You got it all figured out there, bud? Yep. Right on. So, what do you like to I do? I this head tracking on. I don't know why. Oh, you guys head tracking? I was able to move my camera. Oh, weird. Weird. Had to figure that out. Did it just lock out or what? Yeah, so, <clears throat> when I'm third person, it was able to move, fine. But when I would hit first person, I couldn't move my camera, so... I, oh, I got that all figured out. I tried head tracking one time, man. I couldn't do it. It just made me like violently motion sick. Playing. Nauseous, yeah. Yeah. But VR, no problem. That doesn't give me any problems. I think just because you're more, uh, like, it, it's more well, active to yeah. your turns, maybe? I don't know. Something about it was better. What's the keybind to, like, actually cut on the processor? Uh, X. Yeah, but, like, setting it in your. To a function. Tool Two function one. One? Is it one? Yeah. I think one. it's one. Okay. No I always one. have to look at the uh like I'll switch back and forth from gamepad to keyboard just so I know which button it is, and I'll scroll through and be like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh X, there it is. Or Y, there it is. Yeah, it's all my settings reset. Well frickin' since that stupid giants update I found out today I didn't even know, but I forgot all about the delimmer. So since they did that script change, the frickin' delimmer's yeah. toast, like it don't work at all. Oh, because it, it doesn't cut anymore, right? So you can not you can delim all day, but you can't actually cut the tree. Oh, the stroker? Yeah, I the stroker. No, I, I know. Didn't. I didn't either. It wasn't until somebody sent me today and said, I can't get the thing to cut. And I was like, oh. Uh. And then I thought about it, and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I know exactly what that is. I bet you the processor doesn't do an initial cut anymore, so that script's toast. So I have yeah. no idea. So that thing I'm going to have to pull out of the pack temporarily until... Uh, Till Bargain gets his stuff figured out there with that mod, and maybe I'll be able to pull it off. But yeah, I was like, "Damn it!" I sure hope he gets that, cause I don't like processing now. It's, no, I know. It's just, it's just nothing, no good. Well, you don't get. Yeah, you can't. You can't even run it out to do like a, a weird cut of any kind. You have to do whatever. Whatever it wants. It just feels so dumbed down. Like I hate that where yeah. it dumbs down your experience, where it's like, ooh. Push A well, to load yeah, the truck just, fully, yeah, you know, like... <laughs> I've never played that one. Yeah, <laughs> like never auto-loader never. trailers. I have a personal beef against auto-loading trailers. Just... Yeah. Everyone's just like, oh, it's cool, you game. just drive up next to the pile and it all loads onto the truck for you. I'm like, that's just stupid, like... <laughs> I even play the game. Yeah, I was like, what's the point? Auto-play your whole life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's stupid. But s some people need that simple, mindless whatever, I guess. That's mm -hmm. not why I play this. If I wanted that, I'd go play, like, you know, Heyday or something stupid. <laughs> something mindless like that. Alright. I have a feeling I'm gonna come around the road. Oops. I'm flying around the place here. Bitches. Alright, I'm dragging a load out here. Well, I finally cut my first whole painted block today. Oh, I got about three trees left. <laughs> nice, how'd it go? Good. Yeah. yeah. Worked out. That half an hour or whatever it was running around my map, cut, marking the so trees does, out. So does that painted tree thing work on all maps, or is it just for yeah. that one? No, it works. I've been using it on this map. Oh, and you can use it on these yeah. trees too, hey? Yeah. The only time I go to the game map is just to try out, play around with your equipment for a while, but I don't like the trees on the map. I don't I don't really like any of them. Silver Run or whatever it's Their called. wheel buncher isn't terrible. It's one thing I... I haven't tried it. I played with FDRs and I never did like wheel bunchers. Well, yeah, I've never ran one thing. in real life. I've ran a million track machines. Oh, yeah. And one John Deere rubber tire buncher. That was ancient. Ancient, I think. You have to look back in the pictures to find the picture <laughs> of it. I did put one in there, yeah, but it's an illustration. I, I had fun with it, but like... Unless you have a wheel set up, like I used to have a wheel set up and it was fine, but once I got rid of that and went back to just solid joysticks again, it was like, yeah, this is dumb. I didn't like it. But I yeah, uh, I got a really again. interesting line on a, well, I don't really want to give it away. I'll give it away to you guys. I'm sure somebody will figure it out. 
But uh, I'm going to start working with a company here, and we're making... So I was thinking about making a yarder, and I was like, oh, I'm like, I don't really want to make, like, a full tower yarder. Like, it's, I don't know, just, there's not really much of a point to it, because it's about the same experience as anything else. So now, I found a company that makes, um, winch, winch attachments for, uh, the actual machines. So the, well, I won't even say who, because I don't know, it hasn't been finalized yet, so I don't want to say anything, but there's a company... And, is it like uh, the falcon winches or whatever? Similar to that, I guess. Yeah. But they attach the end of the excavator and they got like a little shoe on them that you can hook to the ground. And you can basically oh. just hook logs or hook machines and pull pull the, uh, the stuff up with them. Right. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I spoke to the company and they're very, very interested in getting one of their, one of their attachments into the game. So uh, I'm going to be working with them soon and hopefully getting something out there. That would be pretty cool. So then any machine can be a yarder, really, if you want to attach one of those attachments on there. You can just basically turn it into a winch machine. Yeah. I still say making one of them old skitter eco-towers. Which one's like that? Oh, why don't you talk about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skitter with the tower that stands up on the back of it. Man, I, I never got to run it, but it was in a yard where I rented to build log homes in the, the 90s. Only, the only problem for those, again, is just weight. Like, even for these with the attachment, I think weight's going to be an issue. Well, it's um, basically the same idea the Giants did in their game. Well, with, then with I the would need to be able to use to the, the back script. of the tractor. Yeah. Except make it attack to the back of a skitter. Yeah, it's, except they have a script that locks it tractor. down. That's the hard part. Oh. And that's right. what I can't get my hands on because it's pit behind the old <laughs> DLC there. In right. the next game, it'll probably be included in the base, and then I can do more stuff with it, but we're not there yet. Uh, for all the like four years that, when I, the I game think, releases. Yeah, yeah. I think even your 19 yarder would be just make the tower stand up a little taller. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't because then it. Well, then it's too yeah too far from the, the center point right, for weight, right. and then you'll just fly around. But yeah, I use that for a long time. That one. But. Um, so then you can't have a winch near or a skitter nearby. Yeah. And, and it's not just a proximity well, the, thing because the new, I think I the new script's good though, isn't on it? On the other side of Axe Mountain. Yeah, yeah. And I was on the back side of Axe Mountain with my skitter, trying to cut a trail up around that kind of a road that goes around the top of Axe. Yeah, that's right. And I kept hooking up the winch. And I'd go to the skitter and go, where's the line? Why isn't it pulling? What the <laughs> hell? Yeah, the trees are jumping in. What the hell? Finally, I had to go follow the winch line up over the mountain. <laughs> How can it go so far? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I got to sell the yarder. Oh, frick, that's funny. Here, I'm gonna grab this uh, medill here and do some piling here. But yeah, no, I I don't know if that attachment works out with that company and that that'll be really cool. Like I'm excited for that. I think that'll be just a neat, a super neat thing to have. But that'll kind of that'll kind of bridge that gap between having a yard or not, right? So I think that'll should make some people happy anyway. Yeah, as much as I want a yarder, I'm not going to use those tractor things. Yeah, it's kind of they're kind oh, of weird. Eh? Well, and they can't really hold a lot apparently. Eh? Like they're weighted out pretty light. I they are weighted don't out. No, I just set them up, drug a couple small trees around near the cell point, and went, yeah, okay, this is lame. <laughs> yeah. We're done. Lots of weight. Like I'm getting emails about those all the time. They're like, hey, can you can you change the in-game yarder so that it can carry more weight? And it's like, mm, nope, <laughs> can't do anything with it. <laughs> Uh, until they release it to everybody, then we can change it. It's like, well, this is bullshit. And the other thing, like, I've heard modders are having troubles trying to even mod when they bought the content, because it's, uh, the mods are locked behind that DLC, like the mod yeah. files are, too. So to crack them and basically get them out of the game, apparently, is an absolute nightmare, so. I'm I like, see yeah. a lot of people actually using the winch. On different because stuff. it's on the in-game raptor or whatever. I watched actually... I watched DJ's stream or his video showing yeah. off the DLC, and I thought that winch actually looked pretty cool. Like I thought it looked really. It's nice. on the like the what, what's it called the Raptor 300 in oh, Forest Street. Oh, okay. They added it to there, so that's why that's how everybody's getting the files. Oh, for it. I see. Because it's so. Not... Wait, does the in-game one right now have it? Yeah. But even if you don't have the DLC. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why. That's how oh, everybody is adding okay. it. Okay. Well, I might look into that script then. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Do we have a raptor around here? Uh, no. I just put it on the. Uh, I put that grinder on the. Uh, oh, okay. That John Deere. Yeah, I see that. But now that I know that, that's actually pretty cool. I wonder. Oh, see, then that's. 
See, and if it's in game, I can't get to the script. That's the shitty part. I'd have to rebuild the script like as a third party. Because the, the oh, one that okay. 50k to made, that's the one that's on the skitter. And yeah. I have access to his uh, his Lua file that, uh, like the, the winch script itself, like the Lua data. So I can yeah. go in and I can, <clears throat> I can change mass settings, I can change limits, I can change all that stuff uh, inside that file. But Giants probably has that included in their main like game now, so you don't really have that file separate to play with. Um, now whether those variables are changeable uh, from the actual, just the, the machine XML or not, I don't know. I'd have to look into that. Actually, I can look at it right now. Why not? Two seconds here. Uh, data. Uh, da -da 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 uh, data, data, data. What would it be under vehicles? What? Who makes the Raptor? The Plymouth, I think. Uh, vehicles. Oh, yeah. Print, 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 print. Yeah. Printeth. Printeth. And Raptor 300. Yeah. All right. Let's see what they did here. Uh, d d d d d d d d d attacher joints, power takeoff, connection hoses, camera, motorized, animation, cylinder, suspensions, dashboards. Oh, I don't see anything about the winch here. Hmm. Uh, you sure it wasn't just if you have the DLC? It engages it? Uh, not 100%, but I mean, you could buy it in, or lease it in here. and we. Can oh, yeah, that's true, too. Right, it. Duh. Yeah. Uh, Raptor. Where is the Raptor? Like, I know it's always had that winch on the back. I just didn't. Oh, well, yeah. now it looks like it's active, though. Let's take a look here. Uh, I guess we gotta cut down a tree. You wanna drive that over here somewhere? Yeah. I'll just knock down one of these bad boys. Testing. Testing the winch. But I'm not sure how. If it is just for the DLC, I'm that's sure what I'm wondering. Because I remember it done. always had the winch on the back, like yeah. even before, just it didn't do anything. Because I know 82 Studios or whatever, that mm. guy, he made it. Yeah, no. Yeah, it must be huh. for the just the DLC. That's too bad though. Yeah. See, that's why I don't like that kind of stuff with DLC. It's just stupid. Like, it's like just give everybody something like that. That's kind of cool. But you gotta pay, pay to play. How all these games are. Too. Yeah, I get it. They're a business and all, but at the same yeah. time, it's like your original game had zero forestry anyway, so you might as well include it. And you made a full DLC for it. So it's yeah, literally. <laughs> See, I'm more of a, like, okay, if you're going to add new machines and new maps, sure, that is 100% a DLC paid thing. But if you're adding, like, just features of in-game mechanics that are kind of already there, it's like, you should just give that to everybody. Mm -hmm. But I'm the worst. And it's already, like, they something. added it to an in-game vehicle that everybody has. Yeah, right? Yeah. But, like I said, I'm, I'm a terrible advocate because I just give everything away for free, so I really just don't care. <laughs> Don't gotta pay a cent, man. Oh, yeah. But I just want people to log more. But I will admit, though, them doing that DLC stuff, it sure did bring a lot more attention to logging for a bit here. We got a pretty big uptick in uptick in viewers and stuff just in general from that release. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, logging's cool now. And then they're like, oh, well, I want to log like these guys are logging. And then now they're looking at all our stuff, so that's good. I need to make more yeah. shorts showing off the logging stuff. If only I could figure out how to do a proper one of those. More shorts. Alright. That's probably a good enough little pile there for a minute. Yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool. I was like, oh, yeah, if the winch works now, we can play with that. But now, like I said, thinking about it, I probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it anyway, so. Yeah, one thing I've always tried making, I haven't actually completed it because I haven't had time, is like one of the winch assist excavators. Okay. 
Oh, like, oh, I wanted wait. to make one of those for this game. Just sorry. For, oh, what is it? Like the winch assist, so the skitters oh, can go assist. down like oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. eighty degree angles and shit like that. Yeah, so you can like hang them off cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Just for shits and giggles. Oh but... yeah. Yeah, you can you can do it. I mean, technically yeah. you can do it with these ones, it, like with the uh, skitter, if you mm -hmm. connect a piece of wood or whatever. Yeah. I did, we we were doing it, messing around, putting them putting a piece of wood in a grapple and then tying it off to the back of the skitter and stuff. And oh, that yeah. was kind of funny. Remember, the way I figured out how to do it is I added the winch, like just that small winch that came in like that towing pack in this game. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, I added that, so I added a hitch to like the bucket of an excavator or something. Yeah. So, and then I attached that, and then I attached the hook to whatever it the was. The back of whatever, yeah. Yeah. And it worked that way. It's yeah, a little I can glitchy, see that working but... good. Yeah, there's interesting stuff you can do with winches. The big one for me for wanting a winch would be like if we had spin tires, like kind of terrain and environment, like where you, you can get stuck and pull like people that, up. Yeah. That'd be cool. That's the element, the last element missing from this game, other than you know an optimized engine. <laughs> oh yeah, but <laughs> a lot of people want like construction sim and this to mix or something. Yeah, you know I I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah. Just because it'll bring in new machinery and new dynamics and stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm obviously heavy logging, but, like, you know, if you could be logging to provide wood to build a house and you guys get to go build the house as just, like, a side project or something, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. It's not just, like... I do like digging the... in the ground, too. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. If you could have good oh, ground physics, Terraform though... came out, it's, like, that was a big thing. Yeah. Well, that's it. Something giants said they could never do, and it's like, well, someone did it. Why can't you do it? It's a mod now, so... Yeah. And maybe they will in the next one. But the biggest problem with this game, because this engine is like, God, what is it? It's like probably 20 years old now, this engine. It's so oh, old. Yeah, thought, yeah. And they, they keep, I mean, don't get me wrong, they keep perking it up by adding new features and stuff, which kind of brings it closer to, like, reality. It's still way behind on so much stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And the engine is old, and look at the ground, like, the ground vertices. Like, when you're digging, it's like big, chunky, sharp edges, like... They, they haven't split the ground up dynamically to, like, make a nice, clean geo on the ground. It's just these huge, giant, fat patches, right? Yeah, that's um, what I thought when they were really, like they announced this game. I that's thought what that's I thought. one of the big yeah. things they were going to do. That's what we all thought. Shit. We thought, finally, they're fixing the ground. Even, like, you know, doing your doing your wood chips or your silage or your whatever the hell. Like, just that horrible, clunky, freaking picking up stuff oh, yeah. off the ground is just, like, sh so sh <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just because it it scoops and I've been playing with that uh, that digger bucket. I, I have a pretty good version of it now, but I've been playing with that so that you can actually use the bucket to kind of like push around and level the ground out a bit without having yeah. to screw around. But it's not a perfect system with this ground physics. It's just not going to happen. Oh, but yeah. we do the best we can with what we got, I guess, and until something better comes out. Yep. Another mod that I've always wondered mm. that nobody has made is like able you could push down trees with like an excavator. I know the only I way you could possible, do it, but and like... I, I did it with a dozer in FS17. And what I did okay. is I put a cut note on the bottom of the blade that you could turn on and off. So when you okay. turn the cut note on, basically it would cut the tree as you pushed on the blade, and you wouldn't see any kind of like saw or particles or anything. It would just be like suddenly you drive yeah. into a tree and then it would just fall down, like you could push it over. But yeah. it would need to be enough to kill the stump because if the stump didn't get pushed over, then you'd hang up on it and get stuck, right? Now yeah. the problem is in 19, well not so much 19, this one was the worst one, but if you kill the stump um, prior to cutting the tree, the whole tree disappears. So if you were really? to put that on the bottom, yeah, they just it's a new feature. I don't know if it's for clean, they wanted to clean up their stuff or what the hell the plan was, but... Um, now, like I said, if you hit the stump and cut that prior to the tree, the whole tree goes. So it's just, oh, that's why I had so much trouble with my buncher when I first started out. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Can't really get around that one. That's just features. I actually had to do uh, a reverse, I don't even know, I had to do like a reverse value. So normally you put the, the buncher cut node has like a cut time at how fast it cuts, right? So yeah. I actually had to do a reverse, like, minus number in order to make it not cut the stumps so violently and make the trees disappear. 
And I don't even know why it worked, but it worked. I did it just as like a, hey, I wonder if this what this this actually does anything. And then I did it, and suddenly the tree started cutting again like normal, and I'm like, why the hell did that work? <laughs> it's like, that shouldn't even oh, yeah. be possible, but it worked. So, I don't know. So there's a lot of weird stuff that they changed in the, the game itself. But Yeah, I'm curious to see on the next game, with that Platinum Edition map, should be base game. Yeah. In theory, wow, and the features, like, because then the yeah. scripts will be out, so we can do whatever we want. Oh, yeah. But, we'll see. But, unfortunately, I'm still not going to do a console. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, oh, now that the DLC's out, you're going to go console. I was like, why would I do that? What What does so the DLC have work. to do with anything, literally, for... You know. I know there's a lot of hopefuls on console, but there's just... I can't deliver the same experience. I just can't do it. And well, yeah, the controls especially. Is yeah, like, the controls will be right out to wank. Like, they'll just be screwed right up. Yeah. It's not going to happen, Captain. Oh, yeah, nice pile over here, too, hey? Very nice. Can just back up and smoke these out while you build that one. Like, I was on console before this, and then I bought my PC, built and it, never and all go that, back, right? and then I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, but true. Oh, yeah. I was always like, oh, I'll just swap in between both, and then, yeah, and no. then you just stop on the other one. That's what some guy, yeah, I actually have a friend, a very close friend that lives up here that is the same thing. He's like, oh, I play on PC sometimes, and then I'll go back to console, because I have some friends on console, and he's just like... Yeah. I can't, he's like, I can't log on console anymore. He's like, I'll go hang out and do some farming stuff or something, but that's about top notch for me. Oops. Oh, yeah. What am I hitting? Oh, I'm hitting me. you. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> you good? Yeah, you'll have to probably turn and swing. That's because yeah. these piles are kind of at an off angle here. Or just pile it back further if you need to. It don't really matter. Hold on. Don't matter either way. But yeah, no, the uh, console world just can't keep up. The big, like you said, the biggest one's the controls for me. Yeah. You just, I realize that the uh, the Xbox controller you can be pretty dynamic with, but you, it's you know it's not the same. Like I was on, I used to log the hell out of like with my like PS5 controller. Yeah. Just a regular controller, and I got pretty used to it and pretty decent at it and then it's just like I bought the joysticks because I'm like I'm tired of this I want something new yeah yeah it's just a whole nother aspect after that oh 100% well and like you said you so just much become better. more more dynamic with your controls you become a better oh, yeah. operator in general right just you can have you can do more than just two functions at one yeah and that's huge oh yeah well and then I'll watch guys that are using uh, using joysticks or uh, using uh, controller and it's like they do one movement, then they do another movement, then they do one movement, then they do... They're not like, you know, like when you're with joysticks, you know, I'm moving the boom, I'm rotating the head, I'm moving the stick, I'm rotating the cap, yeah. I'm doing all that stuff like fluidly at once, right? Um, when you have a Xbox controller, because you have to hold down those freaking top buttons or whatever to switch between Bumpers modes or whatever, and stuff, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you don't become fluid because you're constantly going stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, instead of being fluid with them, right? Yeah. But... Just some I got at the end, right before I bought the joysticks, I started like with just the main like boom and stick and swing and all that. Yeah, yeah. I had I held like one of the bumpers and set all the controls up. Oh, okay. So then you had so it, it, all it worked. Just, yeah. It just I got it, and then it was came into an issue with all the like the com I don't know like the conflicting with everything else as well as opening closing the grapple or yeah. something like that. It's like. Well, they just, what they needed was a toggle button, like a button that turns it all on, like a drive mode and then an yeah. operate mode or something. So you just yeah. hit a button and then all your joystick controls switch over to your run in the machine, right? Because then you can actually sit there and probably be pretty dynamic. But yeah, when you got to like hold how Gold down, Rush has it. The which one, sorry? Something like how Gold Rush has it. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, totally. Yeah. Even Construction Simulator had the same thing where they had a drive mode and a track mode and then a, yeah. a regular mode. Because then you can just. Like I said, disable driving mode and sit there and operate, right? You just, you know, yeah. your joysticks are live all the time. Like, you just move around like normal. You don't have to hold down freaking buttons to make them move. Because I think that's what kills kills you as an operator. Oh, yeah. 
Like, even watching people operate with drones and stuff, you know? It's like, if they had to hold down a button while they were operating, think how shitty they'd be. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Instead, they just sit there and just play with the little thumbsticks and fly around. Yep. I mean, technically, the thumbsticks are little joysticks. It's the same as what we're doing right now. It's just, um, you have to have those fluidly open and available. How you doing there, Maverick? Oh, I'm having fun. What are you doing? Are you loading? I'm loading. Oh, okay. I was like, where'd he go? The bunger's part, so that can only uh, mean one thing. He died. Has to be. No, I usually got about 13 loadermen in the game. So yeah. <laughs> I stick to the bunch and... Yeah. Everybody wants to be a loaderman. Eh? I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but... Come on. Well, it's real big sticks Second around. favorite job. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I don't mind bunching. I like processing, though. I actually really do. I don't, I don't really like it since they changed it, but, I mean, I, it's still the same concept. You just got to get used to this stupid system. But I haven't heard from Bargain, but he said he was working on something for that, so hopefully hopefully he gets his uh, his new one working. The, the old one works good in uh, single player, but unfortunately uh, it does not work for multiplayer. Which is a big problem, because that's where 90% of our people play. Maybe not 90, maybe 70%. Yeah, like, in the settings, I'm glad they added, like, the wood harvester automatic cutting. Yeah. Like, that's a setting now. Yeah, well, and now it's working in multiplayer, too, because, like, when they first put it out in single player, yeah. it worked, but not multiplayer, so, frick, we were just pissed right off, all of us, because we're... Last, the last few games, we're trying to process, and you're, like, trying to line up your pile, and it's, like, cuts and goes flying off in a different direction, oh, and yeah. you're just like, ah, son of a bitch! Yeah. That was no That's fun. one thing I don't like when they added the, like the new Volvo processors. Yeah. They're the best in-game ones you can get now, but it's yeah. at the same time you can't rotate your grapple or you can't rotate the processor head when yeah, you, you have a log in there. You can't play with it at all, hey. No, yeah. it's just like, oh, you're going to cut it here, and that's you have no choice. Well, and I mean, I get it. Like in real life, in real life, you can't really like what we're doing right now. The amount of hydraulic power it would take for us to rotate yeah. these trees. Obviously, you can't really do that. But what you can do is you can put a little bit of pressure on it as you're swinging, um, yeah. and, and then you know it'll it'll move in the direction you kind of want it to. Obviously, if it's a huge tree, so I remember when I was processing in real life and trying it out for the first time, and I was just like, oh, so you can't just rotate trees, hey? Like they don't have unlimited hydraulic power to just rotate a full tree, but you could nudge it as you were going, and it would put a little bit of pressure on it, so it would start going in a direction, and then as mm -hmm. you cut up your tree, the uh, the head became lighter because you didn't have as much weight in it, so you could actually kind of rotate it a bit more than than before, right? Yeah. I remember playing with that with that South Star, so I was like, well, what the hell? I can't rotate. Why can't it rotate it? And it's like, oh, well, it's locked out. Probably can't. Like, hydraulic power is probably locked out and wouldn't rotate. Mm -hmm. But then when I cut it down to, like, a like a thin, there was, like, a really dead, thin piece at the end. I was like, oh, now I, yeah. could, I could rotate it in circles and break it off if I wanted to because that pressure was up, right? But... Yeah, it's a lighter piece. Yeah. But the Giants ones, like, as soon as you make that cut, it just disables it entirely. So, so you can't nudge it, you can't even do anything. It's just dead. And all the in-game ones, it auto-tips it over, whatever. Oh, like, yeah, auto-falls on its own then? Yeah, auto-falls. And But, like, with the new, like, that big one that they added... Yeah. You could actually, there's a grapple on it, and you can control where it goes, finally. Like, you can drop it, like, you can control the, the tilt? Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. on top of So like real life. <laughs> like there's another I it's hard to say, but there's another arm on top of like where the swing is. Oh, I see and it like nudges. And it. there's a grapple up there. Oh, I know you're talking so about when you that go weird, to cut like, a tree. It's like a weird processor slash feller buncher head thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So and then when you, you go can, to like, cut a tree down. you can grapple it or whatever. Grab it and then you can Put it wherever you need it. Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, I didn't like the look of that thing. I don't know. It just looked so freaking weird. It runs not bad on it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just I don't know. It looks weird. I yeah. have to. I have to have a slight coolness factor too. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like I understand when you, when you're operating, you're not always going to get the most badass looking machine. But I'm not. I'm not interested in whatever that is. It's yeah, it's weird. it's a weird one. <laughs> it does not like climbing hills either. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that with some of them. They don't really like to go up. Well, that's the problem. It's a torque and weight issue they have. Yeah. Like, 
It's just like even their trucks can't haul their own in-game equipment on an incline more than like 30% without like completely dying. Like, on like one mile an hour. Yeah, and you're trying to go up a hill and it gears down to nothing and then you don't even move. And I'm like, like, real trucks don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Otherwise, there'd be a whole bunch of logging trucks out in the bush right now. It's just freaking toast. Sitting Stuck at the bottom of the hill going, yeah. hell no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Maverick drives truck. When's the last time you had to go one kilometer an hour for, you know, 30 miles because there was a 20% grade, right? <laughs> uh, Little Ford Hill is the worst one I've encountered, and that's how, how much is that? Half an hour, half an hour to get up, and about fourth. Frick, that's fourth crazy. over or fifth direct. What's the max speed you can get going up with the load? Uh, loaded lumber trailers, lumber trains, probably yeah. between thirty and fifty. See, not not like four and not three like or anything, hey? <laughs> no, no. So I'm saying, even the worst. Even the worst of it, it's still, still not that bad. You need some more logs for your truck there? I can throw, start throwing these over to you. I can probably, probably right near your tail over here. Oh. Did I, did I hit you? Or did you hit me? That was my bad. I walked right into your swing. Here, I'll throw some more trees at you here. I'll get these ones cleaned up. See if you can fit all of them on there. I'll be impressed. <laughs> There's only six trees here. But they're pretty freaking hefty, so. Whatever you don't get, we can just chuck down below. Uh, I'm gonna throw them a little behind you there, because I think I'm gonna hit your track right off. Yeah, I've been dicking around with those freaking detachable processor heads. They're actually working really good now, too, so. I was having a little bit of troubles, but they're they're really good now. Out. You're making what, some of those for this? Yeah, I got three. Well, I've got all these ones, so I've got. Oh hell yeah! Uh, the South Star's done. The uh, this one, the Axis Forestry one's done. I mm -hmm. the Warta I just finished this morning. I think it's done skis now. Oops. Is there gonna be any machines that have a like still attached? It? No, yeah. it's done with uh -huh. that. Yeah, no more. Because I want everything to have everything. Otherwise, people will be like, well, I want. If I leave one copy out that has something, they'll be like, well, I want this one on that machine. <laughs> yeah, so well, I've seen those guys that want the buncher on the loader. Well, it don't work that way. Yeah, it. no. Well, and that's it. They're like, oh, the head doesn't rotate enough on the, the freaking 880 to bunch with. And I'm like, good. <laughs> I was like, well, good, you're not using an 880 to go bunching. That's not happening. <laughs> There's not too many loaders that when you put the stick straight out, yeah. your grapple should be sticking straight. Yeah, that, yeah. Like the way you got this set up now? Oh, yeah, 100%. That's, that's almost 100% accurate. Oh, I believe it. So your curl in could go a little bit further, but you don't yeah. have the accumulator, so... That's it, yeah. You said you had conflicts with them, too, so... Lots of conflicts, yeah. I would sooner have it be under the boom less than, you know, and not, be able, to, and not be able to go over... Yeah, the, you know, that's you know exactly what, I mean? what my thinking was when I put it together. Because I know okay. your first 19, I was... Oh man, it used to disappoint me that the, the they couldn't all go. It's overextended. Yeah, yeah, like they used to stick up. Punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're like saying. Mean, like they would go too far up. Yeah, but then they wouldn't come back down, like at all. And then they're not coming down as far. <laughs> yeah. like the puncher, the puncher is pretty much. It could go a little bit further. Same thing, chipped under. Yeah. But you've got it accurate with the the head should almost touch the stick. Yeah, that's right. When it's standing straight up. Well, and it and, wasn't, you, it, and when you're right in tight to your tracks, a lot of a lot of bunchers, yeah, you can't set the head down flat. That's right. Yeah. Because it's got a little bit of a tip forward. Yep. Don't Just a teeny bit. Nail. Yeah, no, it wasn't until I actually ran that Medill unloading trucks that I realized how how tight you could tuck it in and then push it out, like when you're how working you with the unloaded, grapple. Because, yeah. like I said, when you're doing the under the boom stuff. Um, that was the first time I did that, and I'm like, oh my god, you can do this in real life? I thought yeah. I was cheating the system so bad in the game when I made that section too tight. Oh, yeah. And then uh, when I saw that you could do it in real life, I'm like, oh shit, I'm just going to extend it so it does that like all the time. That's way better. But, like I said, stuff you can't really... Stuff that you just don't think about when you're watching videos of people do it, right? You don't look for that kind of stuff. And then when you do it in real life, you're like, shit. The biggest one for me was the boom, the boom lift. Uh, in real life, I was like... Like, when I first started, I was constantly, like, maxing out my booms so much. Like, 
pulling the stick, uh, the, the boom up too much and oh, not yeah. working the stick and pushing it out when I was loading. So I'd park them, the trucks would park really, really close. And I was trying to use all my boom to get like that height to get over the stakes, right? And then you just max out your boom and you go bang and you're like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. My boss is like, yeah, I saw you just gotta just keep the boom a little lower. Don't, don't, don't whip it up so high all the time. And he's like, yeah, if you need to, just tell the trucks to back up a little bit, park a little further away. But that's just stuff you don't think about playing these games because you're just like, oh. And then I started working the, the stick out to get that height off the stakes a lot more as opposed to trying to just use the boom for all the clearance. And it worked out pretty good. All that fun technical stuff, eh? Well, I think we're going to take this to the town. It's, yeah, she's kidding. Eh? It's getting hyper. Here, I'm going to steal your button top for a second, too, when you're done. I'm just going to spin these so that I can process this next pile. Alrighty, guys, I gotta run, so... Oh, no worries, buddy. <clears throat> Thanks for playing. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 you guys have a good one. Yeah, you bitch, man. Alright, let's get her. Yeah, let's see if I can find the mill. Which way do I go to get to the mill? Uh, just straight, actually. So, uh... Which way are you facing? Yeah, just straight. And then you'll follow it right to the... Right to the oh, pavement I can, there. I can see it. Uh, where am I gonna put all these? I'm gonna just pile them up on this side here. We laid the wood the long, wrong way here. Actually, I'm gonna put this one here. A few other guys caked out here too, so I may, uh, I may just do the one here, Maverick and Collar. I know worries. I got some other, I got some other modding stuff I gotta get done too. Playing catch up. Playing catch up, but the new map's pretty well done, so that worked out good. All right, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, that, that's a good one. That's really nice, very detailed. I spent many months playing with this one, trying to get it all right. And this new one's got like, some roads in it, does it? Or lots, build your roads? lots of roads. Ah, gonna build roads. Well, you can still, you know, <laughs> daisy chain off them if you want, but there's a lot of, a lot of roads and sections and. More than I've ever put on any other map, that's for sure. Every section has a section that takes you off. Like, it'd be really easy to get lost. Like, trying to get back to the mill without a map, good luck. That's all I gotta say, because I even get lost on it, and I built the damn thing. I'm just gonna throw all of these over here, and then we'll call that Dunskis. Shwing. Down very straight here. Man. Oops! Oh shit! Well, shit, eh? Where are you working next week? Uh, Same stuff. Taking stuff out of Pioneer Log Homes. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Uh, where is that? Burns? No. I guess they're all over the place, eh? Uh, there's there in Williams Lake. Oh, Williams Lake, yeah. The one that's on TV, the... Yeah. Homes, yeah. They, oh, uh, oh they I see the, the, yard that place. Yeah, Williams okay. Lake area, but now they only have... I think they only have the two yards. The big one on the highway that they do most of the filming at. Yeah. On the skirts of Williams Lake, and then there's one... Get yourself in an episode there, Dwayne. Come on. You're like, yeah, nope, that's a I watched driver. one episode of that and went, nope, too yeah. much drama. I built log homes for a lot of years, too, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I watched wow. that little it's all just, guy or whatever his name is freaking out because his it's uh, all just wired is though. Remote. They don't. They don't not actually care. Right. Yeah, they don't care about any of that stuff. It's all just. It's all just freaking set up. Same with the like big timber or whatever it was called. That big timber show. Oh yeah, yeah. I never watched that one. It, I mean, it's interesting. I just like the machinery and stuff, but like the drama stuff is just way freaking. It's way too out of hand, man. Just like. And I watched a couple partial episodes of Ice Road Truckers just because, you know, it was, it was something I almost, it was something I I almost did in the 90s. Oh, go for Ice Road Truckers. Yeah, yeah. For real. Dude, I, watched, I watched, like, all that series. It was just so entertaining. Yeah, well, I watched the first episode where that guy got his fuel truck stuck just coming off the lake on the little grade. Yeah, yeah. And he refused to put any chains on, and he sat there and spun all four tires 
yeah. down till his axles were sitting on the ground and then sat there waiting for the grader. Yeah, meanwhile, but I mean, guys like, out on the lake. When you see that stuff, you know it's just absolute BS. Like the producer oh, is, is the one that sets all that up because you know anybody in their right mind would never do that. Right? It's just like he would have been hazed. He would have had trucks pulling up to him and freaking on him. And oh yeah, hundred percent. But because well, he held guys out on the lake, well, you can't sit out on the water. Well, that's it, right? got to be traveling on them lakes or you cause havoc yeah and it's right down to the mile per hour too because even years ago when i was gonna go do it my cousin was telling me he says oh yeah i know you got speed signs at the beginning of the lake you hit the lake at that speed and then you know a half a mile out on the lake they'll tell you to speed up or slow down and that's to let the wave pass you yeah that's right yeah you create a wave right the ice yeah actually bends and you got to have that wave meet you so far from the shore or you'll literally just blow right through the that's ice crazy. and that's crazy hey fish food yeah yeah i don't know i've never really heard of a lot of uh incidents of people people uh losing their trucks in the ice or anything but i'm sure it's happened i bet but deadly sport that one especially when they do like spring thaw time and stuff i imagine that's got to be pretty rough i bet i wouldn't want to be doing it i'm glad i never did go do it yeah just taking a chance, eh? One of them things I'm glad I was not stupid enough, but like uh, another job I was going to go do, and I was so into it too, was going up to the Charlottes and falling the great big trees, like oh, eight yeah, foot yeah. or nine foot. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I didn't was because my daughter was living with me as an infant. Okay. And I didn't want to just throw her at her mom because her mom was always just skin. Right, right. My mom wouldn't take care of her for a couple of weeks at a time and so I just don't get off. Well, good for you though. At least you kind of owned home. up to it. Well, yeah. I've been owning up to kids all my life. I've never <laughs> had a me. I keep telling my boys, like, come on, man. You guys got to start doing some of the stuff with me because I'm not going to get to do it now. All the stuff I wanted to do as a kid. Yeah, yeah. It's gone now. You're too busy. Adult, I'm going to be too old by the time you guys actually leave home. So we'll be doing right. this shit together or <laughs> not at all. Yeah. Yeah, the wacky lives we lead, eh?